Good morning. Oh, wow. I think people are harvesting like hay out here or something. Harvesting hay, baling hay. Baling hay, hay whatever, I don't know. Um, I, I guess I should say good afternoon. Um, so on this New York trip, Grant and I made a ton of new friends. Um, uh, last night we went to a Luke Combs concert and we got to talking with these people and they said, you have to come out to our farm tomorrow. So how do we know these people? Okay, so the New York farm girls who have been showing us around New York, um, Claudia, her boyfriend Aiden has a second cousin, uh, <laughs> and that's whose farm we're visiting today. Um, apparently they have a huge dairy, um, and we're getting like the full tour. And they also like test a lot of prototypes. Left, um, then the destination right. is on your right. Blue house. The blue house, somewhere along here. Be looking for people. Um, anyway, so come along on that tour with us. <laughs> So starting out our tour here, these, okay, so these are milk trailers, yes. correct? Yes. Um, everybody meet Greg <laughs> and uh, Monica and Molly and Claire. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys are third and fourth generation dairy farmers here in New York. Okay, they fill five and a half of these trailers full of milk a day. Do you know how many bowls of cereal that is? That's, that's a lot. <laughs> everybody so do you see all this stuff that is what is cooling your milk down see those big air compressors we'll get to that later uh, they're installing a huge backup generator because things can't stop running around here look at the size of that thing and then here this is where all the water for the farm comes through oh my goodness you guys I wish you could see the excitement I'm like this is crazy and then uh, here they can pretty much run the farm from here or on their phones. Dude, modern technology. This is incredible. This is one of the coolest things that I've ever seen in my life. Here's the top of the tankers. Look at all these guys. Okay, so we're up in this big observation room so we can get the full effect of this. These cows are on a literal merry-go-round. They look so happy. So, okay, do you see that little arch that they walk through? They all got little tags so they know as soon as each one, each individual one walks in, then they hop into their little slide, get the little milkers put on, and then ride all the way around and it takes about eight minutes to get around and then they hop right off. It's incredible. Okay, so do you see those windows up there? That's where we were observing just a few minutes ago. And now we have walked under the carousel and uh, I'm waving hello at all the cows. So they're all still being milked at this point in the carousel. So uh, the milk goes down into this silver tube, and then over to the bigger silver tube, and then down into that middle where Grant is standing, and then down into the room where it gets cooled and put on to um, the trailers. It's incredible. And like I said, every cow is being monitored so all these little monitors here are flashing in between the cow's ID number and how many pounds of milk they have produced. So that cow, just from the beginning of the carousel ride to the middle, has produced 15 pounds of milk. So cool.
Okay, so you see the yellow ear tags and our cows have those, but see that white tag? That's what tells the computers who that cow is. Their name, their number, how much milk they've produced. And then you see the cows are wearing collars. So all of those collars, they look like little puppies. It's so sweet. Um, it's like they're wearing a Fitbit around their neck. So they can go into the computer and see like how many steps that cow has taken and their activity levels. That is incredible. All right, so uh, in New York, they've been getting a lot of rain, um, but <laughs> Lower Farms brought the sunshine, I guess, because it is hot. So they have these little sprinklers. So as the cows are eating, oh, the other side just turned on. As the cows are standing here eating, they can have sprinklers on their back to cool them off. Okay, so they have, oh, look at all the sweethearts. They have milk from in here, and then blue waters, and nice dry bedding. They have 500 calves under 10 weeks old. That is a ton of calves. You know, they've milked 5,000 cows at a time, and there's 4,000 I'm not a cow guy. This is crazy, you guys. This is awesome. Look at look at look at how happy they are. Look how happy Laura is. I am loving my friend. I'm ready for the machinery tour. They've got some, uh, some stuff going on in the fields. Oh my goodness! All right, I was just given so much information. I'm going to try to relate to you in <laughs> an understandable way. Okay, so if you watch one of my last videos you saw the drag liner that I went and visited, okay? So this is the drag line pump that's running. Um, they are actively pumping manure out onto a field right now. Something super unique about Sunnyside Farms, that's where we're at, is that they do methane digesting. So with how many cows they have, they're producing a ton of manure. So they are using that methane gas. They have digesters here. And through that whole process, the heating up, they are running two enormous generators. All right, you see these generators? <laughs> these are the generators that the methane gas is powering, okay? That's incredible. So uh, the digesters, they use half of the electricity that the digesters produce, and then the other half, they actually sell back to the grid and the energy that this farm produces, aside from what they use to run all the barns and like all that kind of stuff, can power 7,000 homes. 7,000 homes, are you kidding me? Nothing goes to waste here, it is awesome. Behind me are the engines that run off the methane that they produce. And that one has 70,000 hours on it, and that one has 90,000 hours on it. So this truck right here, what is that? Uh, feed truck. They'll pull into the under the superstructure to get all their grain. Okay. And then they'll come over here and get the haylage and corn silage. Gotcha. And it's called feed watch. So this they're done loading it right now. So it'll mix for five minutes after it's loaded. And it just counts down. But it'll tell them which ingredient needs to go in next. Whether oh really? It's first cutting alfalfa or corn silage out of whichever bun. Uh, then once it's done mixing, it'll tell them how many pounds to drop off in each group of the cows. Oh so my goodness. 15 different mixes. Wow. For all the 
for each different group of cows that you're feeding. Yep. These bunks are just a little bit bigger than the one at uh, at our farm. <laughs> yeah. This will be filled up with corn silage as well. Wow, this fall it'll be oh. filled up with silage? Yeah, this one. Oh, this is the little one. It's okay. Good. Oh. <laughs> Semi trucks with off road tires, my favorite. A couple of Western stars, a Freightliner. Look at these tires. Sunnyside Farms knows how to get it done. They said most of these trucks are around 500, 525 horsepower. Some have autos in them, some have 18 speeds. Just uh, depends on what the truck came with. But, and these trailers are serious. Ooh. Ooh, big four wheel drive with a roller on it. That's awesome. That's some big horsepower stuff around here. Seen one of these on TikTok? Never seen it in person. Look at that thing. Awesome. 400 horsepower spreader. Oh, look at those big tires. Oh yeah. I'm a John Deere guy, but I can get used to this. This is cool. Okay, here's like my dream garage in front of me. It's it's pretty awesome. If you guys thought the 8RX was cool with that high speed 24 row, have I got a treat for you. Check out this monster back here. Look at this. Not to mention this guy. I ain't, I ain't in heaven. This is fantastic. This is so cool. Oh, this thing is awesome. 36 inch tracks that are offset. It's custom. Custom, <laughs> huh? You want one of these? I owe you. I don't have any use for this. I've got a little all. 10 yard scraper we can hook it up to. <laughs> Probably pull it in half. I could, uh, I could drive this to my farm every morning. You could be like my daily driver. Daily driver? Yeah, I'm sure it gets decent gas mileage, right? Probably burn up the tracks I pretty mean, quick. I definitely need 620 horsepower to get me to work every Oh yeah. Day, right? Yeah. Oh man, look at the chopper back there. Mm. I didn't even see that guy. Yeah, there's so many cool things to look at, Grant. Oh my goodness. I love it. 26 foot ripper. Sign me up. Yeah. Might have to come out here to run this Well, here's one. Dad, watch out if you're watching this video. <laughs> These people are making some pretty enticing offers. They say I can run this in the spring. So, mm, <laughs> watch out. I might be coming back to New York for some part time work. <laughs> oh, so oh You've probably never seen one of those. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> we have four of those. So four of them? Four of them. Oh my goodness. And it's still not enough. And, and two trucks to keep the racks hauled away from the field. Oh my. I, do, I feel like that was probably kind of embarrassing. I asked why they carried a sledgehammer with them on the ripper. And it's because they get rocks. Let that compute for a few minutes, everybody. Rocks stuck in between the discs. I and now I feel spoiled now. I like guys. Yeah, we we haul rocks out to our fields yeah, when the pivots get stuck. Big flat yeah. square fields. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so, no, so no this rocks. is your rock taker. Yeah. yeah. So you just drag this through and it. And then Swift wait. So what up. do you do with the rocks that you pick out of your fields? Big big piles. Uh, a lot of it. Last couple years we've been dumping down below the bunk silo gotcha. for fill. But yeah, just there's rock piles all over the place in the state. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> never seen one of these in person. Front mounted mower on 8270R. It's 
It's got two out back. Here's an older pole behind one. And this is something thought only existed overseas, but I guess not. A chopper, they said this is one of their older ones. Not very impressive, but I think it's very impressive. So, lots of cool stuff in here. <laughs> we got stuff from Nebraska out here in New York. Yes. I feel seen here now. <laughs> this is a safe place this for This can be a safe place, yes, <laughs> among all this huge equipment and rocks and big lakes. I, the 402 zip code, I, or the area code, I feel. You think we can get this out for demo? John Deere will send us one of these? I don't know. Talk to John Deere for me. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the self-propelled truck they haul the manure solids out to the cows with to bed in. It's crazy. So like, I mean. Oh yeah, look at that. You just set like, up here. Like, That's. It used to be, it's like, it manure. feels like, uh, it just, I don't know. It's Compost? Like dry dirt. Yeah. Peat moss? Know. It doesn't even smell like poop. It's kind of awesome. Yeah. And so this is what they used to bed their cows with. I, yeah. Anyone know what that is? Yep, that's a snowmobile track. We are living, this is like Grant's, oh, wait a mention, it's Grant's birthday? It is my birthday. It's Grant's birthday today. Um, and so getting to see all this equipment, and it is like Grant's dream come true. Oh, yeah. What is that, is that gotta, fair gotta, to say? Let's go through the shop. I'll show you what I want for my birthday. <laughs> okay. Right. This is, okay. Yeah. This is what I want for my birthday. This is what you want for your birthday, huh? I want an excavator. Uh, and. Yeah. And a big snap-on toolbox over there in the okay. corner. I don't think either of those things are going to fit in my carry-on bag. On the <laughs> on the back home, I'll drive the excavator home. Okay. <laughs> this thing is cool. Yeah, the snap-on toolbox. Check that guy out. It's all locked. Oh yeah, it's all locked. Wise decision. Wise <laughs> decision. That is a big box right there. Shiny. All right, so I wanted to see some equipment working in the field. It's weird because at home, we are like nowhere near harvest time. Um, so right now they're combining, look at the cute little head. They're combining cereal rye. So if you've been following along on my videos, you know that uh, we plant cereal rye as a cover crop to feed to our cows. But I don't think we've even ever considered taking it to harvest. Um, and so they are they sell it to uh, through a broker to distilleries they said they use it for baking bread uh, then they use the straw for like bedding um, all right guys I found a rock in the wild look at that <laughs> beautiful Western star trucks another field now it's being tilled up here's what did the disking a big quad track out here a serious 50 foot disc out here ours is like half this size and some uh, big horsepower out here this thing is awesome look at that I just love coming out here and looking at all this cool stuff. Thank you to everyone who watches. We would not be able to do this without you guys. So we're doing this for you, but thank you. I'm having a great time. All right, next stop on this tour is watching some baling happen. Not round bales like are around us, but some nice big square bales, which are cool. the day back at the milk parlor um, because everything has been cleaned and sanitized and uh, this is the first round of cows that are back on so these are we're towards the end of the line so they're done milking now but if you walk back along 
we'll get to the cows that are still being milked here. See that? Um, so this looks like the milkers look just like, or what do you call it? Milkers? I don't know. Look just like the ones um, at the New York Farm Girls Farm. But see these, they've got, they're standing on non-slip tile here. And those little blue pad things are to keep their hooves apart. So it's easier to get the little milkers on. They're just going around in circles here, enjoying the ride, getting milked. Everyone says that they love getting milk. Like everyone runs to get on here. Um, and then here's a little, here's a little mister to keep them cool. I love it. Okay, so after the cows are done being milked, oh, see that? They just naturally fall off once they sense that no more milk. Uh, they've been milked dry. Um, okay, so we're coming over to here. Usually there would be a human doing this. Um, but instead, if you recognize these robots, have you ever seen a car being made? Yeah, these are the same type of robots that like Ford or Chevy would use to make a pickup. So right now the cows, udders, and teats are being sprayed with an iodine spray. This is exactly what would be used in like a hospital to cleanse something. Um, and so just to keep everything nice and sanitary, uh, each robot does every other one. I just think it's really cool that robots are being used. I don't know. I like it. I think it's awesome. And uh, all of this is being done to ensure that you have the cleanest safest milk to drink every day or pour over your cereal or you know all the protein shakes smoothies I, I drink milk just about every day and honestly I don't know I think this is making me want to drink milk more and maybe it's just because it's dinner time and I'm hungry but this has been seriously one of the coolest experiences ever and I want to thank everyone who was involved in getting me out here today and taking literal hours out of their day to explain all these processes to me and Grant. Um, and I know this was probably one of the best birthdays Grant's ever had, getting to talk with another farmer about machinery that we would never use on our farm and huge equipment. Um, it has truly just been kind of a dream come true kind of day. So thank you so much to everyone. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, learned something from it, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye guys.